Well, hello there. This is Gary Gnu from the Great Space Coaster. And how are you? You're watching Mega Podtastic. Hey, did I say it right? Mega Podtastic? What kind of pod is this? Like a bean pod or something? How do people... Oh, a podcast. I forgot. I'm in the future. This is not the 80s anymore. Roll it. Podcasting. Good morning, Megapodlings. Crazy Joe coming to you still from the great Philadelphia Comic Con. And I am here with anyone who knows me knows I love puppets. I am a puppeteering fanatic and I have... Me too. <laughs> I have a great puppeteer with me here, Jim Martin, who worked on one of my favorite shows as a kid, The Great Space Coaster. He puppeteered Gary Gnu. And Jim, why don't you tell our viewers what you're trying to do right now? Okay. Well, thank you, Joe. No problem. Or should I call you Crazy Joe? <laughs> What? I, I answered to just Joe or Crazy Joe. Well, he hasn't been crazy with me yet, so I'm just going to call him Joe. I've just been a crazed fan. A crazed fan. <laughs> me, and me too. So, um, as Joe said, my name is Jim Martin, and back in the 80s, I worked on a TV show called The Great Space Coaster. And 39 years later, my wife Crystal and I bought the rights to the show, and now we're trying to preserve the show because the show is on two-inch reel-to-reel -reel tapes that are 39 years old and they're starting to degrade. So we're trying to come to conventions and raise funds to uh, support our effort to save the Great Space Coast. And we bring Gary along with him. Gary's armatured right now because uh, we just, we're doing photo shoots with him. But normally we can do YouTube videos and different funny things with Gary. Um, so that's about it, Joe. But is, no, this is not the original Gary, right? No, this is not the original Gary. The original Gary was designed by Kermit Love and built by the Great John Studio. And the people that built him was John Orberg and Jim Krupa. And 39 years later, I went to Jim Krupa and John Orberg and asked them if they would build me a new Gary Gnu. And they did, so this is the new one. The old Gary, unfortunately, turn to what we call toast <laughs> uh, because they're made out of foam after many years the foam starts to deteriorate and falls apart from the UV rays and, and just the environment so um, you know all the all the puppy characters that are made out of foam have a very short life unfortunately but they live on tape or in film <laughs> <laughs> and if our audience has never seen the Great Space Coaster this is worth saving. This is a show. Oh, this is a you. phenomenal show. You can find clips on YouTube. Check it out and do what you can to help preserve the show. Can you tell our audience some of the other uh, projects you've worked on? I mean, obviously, you worked on Sesame Street. For I, I worked on Sesame Street for 20 some years. Uh, I worked on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood when I was in college. Uh, many, many years ago, I worked on Captain Kangaroo. Um, I worked on a show called The Puzzle Place, which was on PBS, which I really loved. Between the Lions. Um, Johnny and the Sprites. Johnny, oh, Johnny <laughs> and the Sprites. I love John Tartaglia. Johnny and the Sprites was such a great show. All the puppeteers were wonderful on that show. We had such a great time. Um, so now I'm kind of retired. And again, we're working on trying to save the Great Space Coaster and possibly bring the show back. If you bring the show back, will you be puppeteering again? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, we have some new ideas for the show and some new characters that we're working on. So uh, Gary will have a lot of new friends. And let's just, you know, wrap it up real quick with uh, what do you think about pup the current state of puppeteering? Like, obviously, uh, the Muppets don't have quite the presence they used to have. Sesame Street's still going strong, 50th season. Do you feel like, uh, like, I feel we need more puppets on TV. That's just me. But what, what do you feel about the current state of the industry? Well, I think I think with anything in life, it's just to say there's a great space coaster. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> you know, sometimes things are going uphill and everything is about that. And then all of a sudden it goes back down the hill and people are looking for something new. So puppets on television go through different you know highs and lows. The Muppets are going to come back and they're going to probably be better than ever. But, you know, when that happens, I can't say. You know, puppets will always, puppets from the beginning of mankind have been out there as storytelling. 
I think what we need are really good stories to tell, and then once those good stories are written, then we'll have good performances and good shows. But it all starts with a good story. And let's just wrap it up by, can you give our viewers information on where they can go to help to save the Great Space Coast? Oh yeah, if you're on Facebook, um, look for the, the Great Space Coaster. And there's a couple fan pages out there, but we're the official Great Space Coaster. And look for it in the corner of the page is the drum head from the Great Space Coaster that says the Great Space Coaster. We're also on uh, Twitter, and our website is thegreatspacecoaster.tv. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Some people call them bitches, some people call them jammies They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas Keep on wearing those pajamas Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done